Hey, I'm Vince, selling this approximately 89 year old Ansco Anthony view camera. Because I'm going to show off a few things on it here real quick. In case anyone's wondering what this is, it's it's old time lens hood. Put that there if you choose to. You can hang your dark cloth over it then. Making a makeshift lens hood. So anyway, I'm including that accessory. Um, the lens, I don't see any separation on it. Um, it's about as clean as it can get. It doesn't look like it's ever been dropped. There's no dents on the filter ring. You can hear the Packard shutter operating here. It's got two controls. Never quite figured out which, what does which, but um, of course letting go of the vacuum stopper on the top allows you to leave the shutter open. Getting it again cycles through. Like I said, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's been some time since I've used the camera seriously. I have done some portraits with it. Bellows are in pretty good shape. Um, real quick, these are the main things I wanted to demonstrate. Um, it's got a spring counterbalance and the lock. It's locked now. Um, it's got a geared swing axis, or I guess that's tilt, along with a geared swing. It's got a focus lock, focus, and also the bed has a geared tilt. I'm going to remove this real quick. Inch glass back. This is something um, you don't see a lot. Um, it's a sliding half frame back. The ground glass on this side has been damaged. Um, I'm including it. Um, um, shouldn't be any problem replacing it with a new piece of frosted. Um, a lock here for each half of exposing the 5x7 film here. There's a septum in here. Um, so anyway, you can compose, mark off your, your half-frame um, um, view on the, uh, the glass that would be here. Load your 5x7 uh, inch holder here. And again, there's two stops. That's for one half, that's for the other. And there's a release here. There's also a standard 5 by 7 inch back. Um, that's interchangeable, like so. All right. Um, about all I've got to say and show for it, I've got uh, three 8 by 10 inch holders to go with it. Um, bellows are in pretty good shape. Um, generally, camera this old, I recommend draping your dark cloth after you're done focusing over that. But um, I have used it in the studio with electronic strobe and um, have not had any problems with pinholes at this time. Um, it's not a real elaborate bellows, but um, like I said, it's still fairly flexible and uh, I, I don't have any pinholes in it at this point um, that I'm aware of. Like I said, we're dealing with a 90 year old piece of equipment. And um, I have every reason to believe that is the original bellows. There are some holes drilled over the years, various places. Uh, I'm not sure for what reason. Um, um, this is probably aftermarket, the, the plate holder. Uh, good place to keep your magnifier, um, extra backs, that sort of thing. I don't know what else to say. Um, Take the lens off here real quick. I have always gaffer taped the slide on here. I don't want to risk this lens ever being dropped. Um, I'll take some more detailed pictures here of it though. Uh, the, the lens does, in addition to the Packard shutter, have a studio shutter, which can be used uh, with, a, with a cable release.
putting that tape back. Anyway, happy bidding. I haven't used it that much. Um, I have made a number of portraits um, about a decade ago with it, but um, I've got a metal camera, which I prefer to do my large format work with, and um, 8 by 10 is just not something I'm interested in working with anymore, although the 5 by 7 inch formats uh, are of interest to me. That's all. Thank you.